Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. Today we will we'll take up a new topic which is CC bond activation reaction. And before we take this up which is a more challenging a topic to take up we have developed the concept of ch bond activation in our previous lectures though ch bond activation is quite challenging by its own merit but cc bond activation is even more challenging than CH bond activation. Then C CH bond activation and hence I thought that it would be better for us to understand the easier one relatively easier one which is the CH bond activation prior to us taking up the CC bond activation as the knowledge gained in CH bond activation would help us easily understand the CC bond activation. In this regard in the last few lectures we have looked at the mechanism of CC, CH bond activation how it proceeds by intermolecular as well as intermolecular pathways what how CH bond activation can be favorably utilized for CH bond functionalization by incorporation of functional group on a CH bond. We had seen examples of that. We had also looked at various orbital interaction involved between the metal and the ligand in stabilizing the metal CH sigma bond alkane type complexes which further leads uh, to this CH bond activation. We had also looked at the free energy uh, surface space for such CH bond activation processes which can proceed by oxidative addition in the forward direction and by reductive elimination in the reverse direction. Now with this understanding in place we are going to look up something more interesting and more challenging uh, uh, a problem which is CC bond activation. To understand CC bond activation we are going to look up the following uh, topics I, particularly we are going to preview CC bond activation uh, from the perspective of interaction of CC bonds with transition metals. Also we are going to take a lo uh, look of the CC bond activation from the perspective of transition metal parfluorocarbon sigma complexes. And we will also discuss various other sigma donor and pi acceptor ligands. And we would also be looking at transition metal 
alkenyl, aryl, aryl or alkynyl complexes as well as transition metal carbene complexes. So, this sort of gives a glimpse of sequence of topics that would be covered with respect to the larger topic that we are discussing in this lecture which is about CC bond activation. Now, CC bond activation is more challenging than CH bond activation. is more challenging CH bond activation and that is because that these CC bonds are a CC bonds are weaker than C H bonds to cleave and what it tells us that this difficulty is not because of the bond energies of C H bond versus C C bond. For example, C C bond is about 40 kilojoules per mole weaker. then C H bonds or even H H bonds. So, despite the fact that C C bond is a weaker bond to cleave, C C bond activation is more challenging than C H bond activation as well as H H bond activation. And what it is indicating that despite the fact that these bonds are easier to cleave that the bond energy is about 40 kilojoules per mole weaker than that of a CH bond or HH bond still this is a difficult problem. And that is because the challenge is due to statistically C H bond outnumbers C C bonds. So, there are less C C bonds to cleave for the catalyst to C than the C H bonds outnumbers So, it is very for a catalyst which is activating a particular sigma bond, it will see more number of C H bonds around it than the C C bonds. Second reason being C C bonds are less in number and also difficult to approach. C C bonds are sterically inaccessible. because C C bonds are in the skeleton of a carbon or organic compound frame framework and they are covered by many hydrogen bonds and hence they are sterically inaccessible as well as there are a large more number of C H bonds which is covering the C C bonds. So, C C bonds are statistically outnumbered by C H bonds. And lastly, because of these two effects that there are large number of C H bonds and fewer number of C C bonds and whatever C C bonds are present, they are sterically inaccessible. So, both of these effect sort of work in the same direction and makes a, a, the pre coordination of C C bond to transition metal difficult. So, these two effect these two effect makes pre coordination
of C C bonds to transition metal difficult. Now, this is a very important criteria for activation of a bond, because with our knowledge in CH bond activation, what we had seen that the precondition is a necessary requirement for this bond activation to occur. And we had seen pre coordination in the form of intermolecular sigma alkane complexes or intramolecular acoustic interaction occurring leading to CH bond activation. But from the discussion which we, which we have had, had right now over CC bond, it seems that the pre coordination criteria is not fulfilled or difficult to fulfill in case of CC bond activation. And as a result, this CC bond activation becomes all the more challenging becomes all the more challenging than, than HH bond activation as well as CH bond activation. So, what, what is coming out over here that this activation is it becomes difficult because of there are many numbers of C H bonds which outnumber C C bond and also C H bonds make C C bonds sterically inaccessible. As a result, pre coordination of C C bonds to transition metal becomes very difficult. So, all of these adds to making C C bond more challenging than C H bond and C H H bond activations, despite the fact that C, C C bonds are weaker than the C H bonds and H H bonds. Now, with this in mind, there are but few examples which exist of C C bond activations, and we are going to take a look at some of these example and try to understand how despite all of these hurdles, the CC bond activation has taken place and how these hurdles have been, have been overcome and the, uh, the desired CC bond activation products uh, were obtained. So, what has been done is that sometimes removal of ring strain or stabilization due to aromatization has been successfully used for performing C C bond activation. So, C C bond activation achieved by by aromatic stabilization of these pi electrons as well as by loss of ring strain. For example, in this molecule having lot of ring string as two pi membered rings are bound to each other at this carbon, when that is treated with iron carbonyl, gives this iron complex
this is a 18 valence electron compound and iron 0 compound is 0 valent that when heated in benzene at 80 degree centigrade eliminates a molecule of CO and undergoes CC bound activation to give this following compound So, this also is a 18 electron compound and it is a iron 2 compound. So, what has happened over here is that aromatization of the C p ring C p ring has happened which leads to the formation of comp the compound as, as well as release of the ring string from the spiro compound to this loss of ring strain so this loss of ring strain as well as aromatic stabilization in the product complex has resulted in this cc bond activation or cleavage of the C C bond. Now, over here because th is there is no pre coordination involved the way pre coordination had been observed in most of the C H bond activation reaction. This is a unique example where the CC a difficult CC bond activation has been achieved by two stabilizing effect which is the aromatization of the CP ring as well as the loss of ring strain using a iron complex. So, the iron complex which itself is a valence 18 electron complex undergoes a loss of CO to give the electronically unsaturated complex to which this oxidative addition happen and it gives back the 18 valence electron compound with iron 2. So, this is a nice demonstration of how C C bond activation can be achieved through various stabilization techniques. Similar arrangements have been made in other systems as well where the idea is to decrease the ring strain of a strained molecule through some skeletal rearrangement and that would lead to C C bond activation. For example, for this highly strained molecule there are three cyclobutane ring highly strained. and hence it would therefore, undergo C C bond activation for the release of strain when treated with 
uh, rhodium one compound gives the cc bond activation of this particular bond leading to the formation of this rhodium 3 compound which undergoes reductive elimination giving back rhodium 1 compound to give cyclooctadiene in 20 percent yield what is seen is in the process of reductive elimination this particular bond has also been cleaved and there has been a conversion of this highly strained molecule into cyclooctadiene and this approach is called skeletal rearrangement leading to to decrease in ring strain obviously the cyclooctadiene is less strain then the original molecule which is highly strained the rhodium 3 complex can also undergo beta elimination beta hydride elimination to give the following compound and an olefin and this can finally eliminate rhodium 1 to give this six membered four membered fused complex in 80% yield and here also this compound is less strain than the original compound which was highly strain now what is coming to the fore so what is coming to the fore is that skeleton rearrangement leading to decrease in ring strain plays an important role in cc bond activation reaction with this let me summarize the discussion which we have had today about cc bond activation reaction cc bond activation reaction is more challenging than ch bond activation reaction despite the bond despite the fact that cc bonds are weaker about 40 kcal are weaker than ch bonds or even the hh bonds and despite the reason Uh, uh, the uh, fact that it is weaker they are difficult to activate and that is primarily because of the fact that ch bonds outnumbers cc bonds and hence for a catalyst to activate cc bond it sees less number of statistically it sees less number of cc bonds to activate than the ch bonds it come across 
Furthermore, uh, that CC bonds are less approachable because they are buried deep inside the skeleton and they are covered by various kinds of CH bonds and this both of these statistically less number of CC bonds as well as their less approachability makes CC bonds uh, 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 pre coordination to transition metal uh, very difficult and as a result CC bond activation becomes all the more challenging. Now, this has been successfully overcome in the two examples that we saw in which uh, uh, the loss of ring strain as well as uh, aromatization owing to stabilization were successfully used in strained uh, uh, organic molecules uh, having a lot of ring strain was successfully used in executing uh, CC bond activation particularly with transition metals. Uh, we have seen two examples of that and we are going to uh, discuss this CC bond activation in some more detail in next lecture where we are going to see how this uh, what are the reasons uh, the, uh, uh, behind this CC bond activations or at the molecular level what kind of inter uh, interactions uh, do take place uh, for such CC bond activations and what are the uh, criteria where these CC bond activations uh, 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 thrive. With that in mind let me uh, conclude today's lecture and I look forward to being with you in the next lecture. Thank you.